On today's episode of Anime Afterthought, Black Clover, episode 121, Three Problems. I don't know where we go from here. Last week was an amazing episode. Not only was it the climax of the story, but we also got an emotional climax. A lot of bittersweet moments mixed with true tragic ones. We saw the elves, or at least a majority of them, finally at some semblance of peace after everything they fucking went through. But at the same time, we lost a character that just got introduced. Yes, the OG Wizard King, Lumiere. Silver Million Clover crumbled to dust in Sekre's hands. Talk about a reunion cut immensely short. But if that wasn't enough, the giant reveal at the end of last week's episode is probably the, the biggest one ever. The man we all thought perished in episode 93, Julius Novo Crona, is alive. Not only all that, but he has been transmorphed into the body of a teenager. But where do we go from here story-wise? I mean, what is the true aftermath of the elf saga? Like, uh, I'm excited. So without further ado, let's jump in. Yeah, seeing them use this uh, intro again, I wonder if we're going to get a new one once the new, you know, quote unquote saga begins. Or because this is the true, like, beginning of the Clover Kingdom. Like, is this, is this what we're going to keep throughout the entire story? Oh god, he's he's so fucking nonchalant about it. <laughs> Look at that fucking face. Oh shit. Oh, he utilizes a uh, Sekre's magic item. Oh. He's super happy to see him again. Yeah, bro, you got to clean up your own fucking mess. Oh, so he's taking responsibility for his... Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, you better step up. You gotta fucking step up. Now you have no excuses. You can't say, you know, Patri is controlling your fucking body. Whatever you do from here on out, that's all you. My only grievance so far is I wish they would have went a little bit high, higher pitch with his voice. He looks like 13, 14 maybe. I don't know the exact age, but... You know, throw in a crackle every once in a while. That'd be pretty cool. I'm going to be very sad when this uh, new opening is gone. <laughs> you see Asta's face. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> they didn't even do anything with her. <laughs> Fucking Asta was the first one to catch on to that? Jesus. Sometimes I underestimate his abilities. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, that's the Lumiere slash Sekre magic item. Oh, it's actually called Swallowtail? Okay, so it did have something to do with that. That symbol on his head, like you guys said. <laughs> of course you'd cry, Asta. Oh, okay, he's back. Okay. <laughs> uh. What? What? What the fuck? What do you mean? Yeah, okay, what the fuck's your point? Didn't he already meet his devil, though? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fucking creepy as shit. Weg? Is that what it said? So there is a... Oh, cool. Oh my god, that is adorable. Yeah, let's get back to, uh, you know, Asta dying or the Clover King kingdom getting destroyed. We well, you know now would be a perfect time for people to invade if, the, if, the, if there's been a giant fucking, you know, upheaval. Caused by the elves, plus, you know, everyone thinks that Julius is dead. 
So we've met the Diamond Kingdom already. I don't know about... I don't think we know anything about Heart or fucking Spade. Okay, so they're divided by... One of those giant magic regions. So is the heart gonna invade us? Or is the diamond? <laughs> oh, fuck. They'd throw him under the bus just because he has a devil? God, this fucker's back again. Oh, he was saved by Seke? What? Did he just fall into it like out of you know, fucking luck? And that fucking proves my point 100%. Yes, by pure happenstance, you fucking fell into it. Oh god, they deserve each other. Two peas in a fucking pod. No, your luck's been bad because it's fucking karma. You're a dick. Who the fuck are these fuckers? What the fuck was that? Who the fuck's this guy? Oh, he's related to the king? Damn Nadio? I I'm gonna have to look how to pronounce that. Damnatio? I'll call him Damn Kira. Damn Kira. He seems pretty carefree for a guy who knows it's either him or the Clover Kingdom. Oh, he's being friendly to trap him. No, 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 no. I can feel this is a fucking trap. He's acting too fucking friendly. I always wondered if there was some kind of, you know, judicial system, and like, obviously this magic parliament is it. Yeah, fuck you. You were acting way too fucking friendly. And Asta's way too fucking naive. <laughs> I fucking called it. Fuck this. Run. Run, 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 run. And we got a bunch of fucking nobility up there. A bunch of royalty. That's fucking bullshit. We already know there's a goddamn segregation based on hierarchy. Oh god, you're such a fucking dick. You know what? Maybe the Clover Kingdom should get fucking taken down. This discrimination of mana seems to be, you know, ingrained into this fucking DNA. Fuck you, Sekre is perfect. You leave her alone. Oh, fucking... Julius called it. He's the goddamn scapegoat. So this guy doesn't care about fucking... He has that scale like Lady Justice, but he doesn't care about justice. He probably knows for a fact what the fuck went on. Oh, God. <gasps> oh! You're gonna kill a fucking kid? Yeah, because other nobles fucked her f fucking family up. They usurped her nobility or whatever the fuck. Are they trying to get him to fucking, you know, come out and s take, you know, responsibility? Yo, this is getting fucking dark. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh. Oh, fuck yes. Asta, you fucking genius. Oh, who the fuck is this dude? Well, you know what? Fucking Julius called it. <laughs> they're gonna- they're trying to kill Asta to use him as a scapegoat to not take down the Magic Knights. Or try to take down the Magic Knights. I mean, And in doing so, leave them up for f vulnerability for attack! Dominatio, thank you for saying that.
Yo, 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 guys, oh my god, this fucking episode, like, you, you, you weren't lying. Literally, we are out of the frying pan into the fire. We're, if this is the beginning of the next saga, the next arc, we are literally starting at 100. I don't know where we're going from here. I'm, I'm almost speechless. First and foremost, Julius Novacrona is back, and the way he did it is Tabata's continuity at fucking work. Like, the dude is, the dude is a fucking mad genius. Like, I did not see this coming at fucking all. I mean, of course, being a fan of Naruto and, you know, knowing Princess Tsunade's, you know, chakra storage jutsu. I mean, the mark was a dead giveaway, and I did notice when it disappeared or just wasn't on him last week's episode. I knew it had to be an integral part, but Tabata went above and beyond that. It wasn't that he was just storing mana in this, you know, this spell on his forehead. No, it was in correlation to Lumiere and Sekre's magic storage device. You know, the giant orb, the one that, you know, brought Goku from Planet Vegeta to planet earth yes that giant fucking sphere that unfortunately was the demise of the elves comes back into play it's called the swallowtail i'm a pretty nice title and he found that utilizing documents he found in the castle he was able to basically manipulate this and store magic in this device i believe he said for like 13 years of it's not enough to bring him back to his former glory which means he basically ends up in the body of a teenager but yeah tabata continuity god damn that's good i was just as shocked as fucking william and yami like like, dude, what the fuck is going on? And everything makes sense. And although you guys tried to help me last week and told me it was, it had to do with a, a, you know, a runic symbol on his forehead, there's a lot of discrepancies when you go online to actually what this is. It could be a combination of, you know, two different ones. I think that means like the beginning and the end. It could be the, the mother rune known as Haggle. Like, I, there's a lot of discrepancies on what these runes mean and what they look like. But I knew for a fact that it, it was an integral part. I mean, I fucking saw Naruto. Like, this was, this is very reminiscent but it, it went above and beyond to bring back in earlier continuity of the device. Like, ah, oh, fucking genius. But our, you know, our elation is cut short. I mean, we're, I'm super glad to have the Wizard King back, but when he brings, you know, Noel, Mimosa, Sakura, and Asta in front of him, oh yeah, side note, Asta being the only one who knows who Julius really is is fucking hilarious. Everyone's like, who the fuck is this little kid? Sakura is just quiet. It literally pans to her and it's just like silence, no motion, then pans to Asta. But yeah, I mean, even this little jovial part is cut short like oh yeah you're the wizard king okay that makes sense whatever uh how'd you get in there oh yeah, yeah, yeah okay a uh, spell even him going up to Sekre and going oh yeah, yeah, yeah 500 year old oh i know who you are oh what kind of magic do you have what uh it's all cut short this whole little you know comedic moment is cut short I got some bad news and some worse news bad news is because of my influence because everyone thinks i'm gone nobilities are gonna go you know pretty much fuck itself we've just encountered a huge loss and this devastating attack yeah the clover kingdom is pretty much uh guaranteed to get invaded. I mean, we have, we've already met the Diamond Kingdom and they're out for our blood. They've invaded or have tried to invade at least two or three times at this point. Uh, Heart Kingdom, it seems they're very mysterious, yet they have very potent magic. Uh, Spade Kingdom, although it's blocked by a one of those magical region zones that basically blocks them from every single continent or every single different region, you know, Heart, Diamond, and Clover, uh, they have magic supremacy. And I think he said they've made themselves known that they are, they're, you know, tyrannical. They want to take over. Um, yeah, basically, Basically, we're going to get attacked. Or, you know, the worst news, the other possibility, um, Asta might die. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck do you mean Asta's going to fucking die? Well, don't fucking talk like that. Fuck you, Wizard King. Fuck you. That's not a fucking funny joke. Fuck you. Yeah, but it all becomes basically uh, very clear at the very end of the episode why that is. And, of course, we come back to the main issue with the Clover Kingdom. And possibly every magic continent there is, it is the dis discrimination based on magical hierarchy. Those with magic look down on those without, aka nobility versus peasants, and it plays a major factor in why Asta might die. And it's sad because it's such ingrained in this the, this future idyllic, you know, Lumiere put his literally, everyone killed themselves for a future where everyone would get along, those with and without magic, and yet it still is this discriminatory. Even Sekre is like, this is the, the future we fought so hard for, it's still so ingrained in everyone's DNA to discriminate against those that are different. And in this case, they're not even different. They just have less magic. Like, it's so fucked up. But before we get to the end of the episode, you know, and after this little comedic slash bomb dropping sequence, we see what happened elsewhere during this, you know, the elf invasion. We see literally a match made in hell. Yes, out of pure coincidence, as Seke is running from, you know, all the trouble, he gets hit 
in the head by the Clover Kingdom's king. Yes. And just by happenstances, the king now thinks Seke saved him and blah, blah, blah. He's, he's a, you're a peasant, but you must be good. And because you saved my life and blah, blah, blah. And like, Jesus Christ, you fucking deserve each other. You two are like the biggest dicks in the series so far. And I hate it. it, it fucking Seke is like, oh, I've had such shitty luck ever since I met Asta. No, you've had such bad luck because you're a bad fucking person. It is literally instant fucking karma. You suck, therefore you are. But even this little interaction is cut short. It seems some, you know, people are going to take this opportunity you know, uh, of all the, the the confusion going on to try to kill the king. I mean, I'm not going to say he deserves it, but, you know, I'm leaning towards, you know, yeah, he probably deserves it. But out of nowhere, we get another character introduced, uh, Dominatio, uh, who I'll, you know, try not to fuck up the name, if I'm even pronouncing it right to begin with, whose last name is Kira, which we also know the current king's name is Kira. So obviously he's in some kind of relation with the king. He comes up and he's just displaying a power super badass. I mean, his power is fucking awesome. He whips out what looks like the scales of justice. You know, Lady Justice, how she is, she's blind, meaning she's unbiased and she has, you know, the scales to garner innocence versus guilt. Yet, you figured because he has those scales, he would be very unbiased, very logical, fair and just. No, he takes out this fucker's look at his split, minimizing their magic using the scale and then initiating some kind of like gravitational pull type fucking shit. Leading us to our next interaction. Uh, Julius also told the group, hey, uh, be on the lookout for something called the Magic Parliament. And I always wondered in this universe, in this Clover Kingdom, is there some form of judiciary system? And obviously it is. It is the magic parliament. And it looks like they oversee, you know, justice in the Clover Kingdom. If someone to come do some kind of action and need to go to trial, this is where it would take place. And of course, naive fucking Asta gets tricked into going to said magic parliament, which I fucking called it. The dude was acting way too fucking nice. And of course, Asta is way too fucking trusting. They end up in magic parliament. And who is it being controlled by? Yes, the fucking no ability of the Clever Kingdom, like I said, which falls back to what I was saying before, we know that there is a huge discrimination between the peasants and the royalty, and we see this very flagrant in this episode. Right at the very end, we see that everyone is, uh, gross, fuck you, peasant, ew, what a wretch, fuck you. Even the king's like, oh, I let you into the royal nice, you fuck yourself, you little wretch. Of course, Seke's fucking loving this. He's like, oh my god, it's so fucking, fucking hilarious. I don't care what he really did, I don't know what he did, but this is what he deserves. Like, fuck you, dude, you're a dick. The king a dick. All the nobility's dicks. And it's proven. Even Domnatio is a fucking dick. Fair and just my fucking ass. Scales of justice. You gotta turn that shit in. Literally walks up to Asta, who's been placed into cuffs next to Sekre, and is like, hey, as soon as you walk in here, you were fucked. But if, if you don't want to cop to being, you know, our scapegoat, basically, that's what the whole thing is. Asta's gonna die because they want a scapegoat. If you don't want to be a scapegoat, then uh, let's go ahead and judge each person individually. And who do they bring out fucking first? Marie. Yes. Little Orphan Annie of the Black Clover universe comes out. She's fucking scared. Asta, what's going on? Asta's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And Dom Nadia is like, um, okay, she did this, this, and this. He goes, no, 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 you're warping the facts. She was taken over. Her body was, you know, a hostage. You can't blame her for the actions because he wasn't in control. No, 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 I can and I will. Uh, you are found guilty and literally lines up a fucking firing squad and just five mages try to fucking blast her into non-existence. Like, what the fuck? You're literally gonna get kill a kid? Well, nope, not if Asta is there because he goes fucking full devil and literally is there to save Marie. But thus again, giving the entire nobility, Kira, the king, evidence of, you know, his quote unquote pact with the devil. Donnie in his black form, he literally looks like a fucking devil. And this is where we end out the episode. I mean, him going like, you're not going to fucking hurt Marie. Fuck you. All my hope hinges on, you know, the preview for next week's episode where we see Yami comes in. Of course, we see a comedic moment where he's crushing Asta's head like usual. We also hear the voiceover for Julius. Hey guys, I think think I found a way to save Asta. So all my hope resides in Julius coming up with a plan. He is a fucking genius. I mean, he's pretty fucking smart. If someone is going to save Asta from this predicament, it's it's going to be him. Um, Like I said, this episode, I thought it was going to be a simple cleanup episode and they did literally clean up. We did see, you know, I think some of the magic knights cleaning up the destroyed Clover Capital. But honestly, just the shit we got, we saw, you know, the awesome continuity between Lumiere and Secre's device and, you know, Julius coming across it. We see, um, you know, William being, being brought back into the fold by Julius. Like, hey, I'm taking responsibility and you need to take responsibility too. I'm not just gonna let you walk out. You have atonement, just like Patri. I mean, you have to atonement. You did, you let the other soul take over. You let this happen. But also I brought you into the Magic Knights, so I'm partially responsible. Uh, speaking of William, we found out that not only, uh, you know, people, I believe it's people affected by forbidden magic or maybe the other 
world in itself or just dark influence. People who are cursed are also known as WEG, W-E-G, I think that's how you pronounce it. William's Curse, uh, we have Charlotte's Curse, Secre, I believe her horns are literally, you know, part of, you know, being WEG. I think it's, I don't know if I'm using it right. And Asta, I mean, they are all cursed in one way or another. We also learn that there is a world full of devils. Like, there is another world, and it makes me wonder if we're gonna go fucking visit it. Like, is that a possibility? Is that a, the end all be all arc? Like, is it literally us versus the world of devils? Like, that would be fucking weird. That'd be fucking amazing. Could you imagine, like, how strong the word devil was? Could you imagine an entire fucking realm of those motherfuckers? Like, holy shit. Or are they just super, are they rarer than what we're led to be? He's saying there's a whole other world full of these fucking devils. At the same time, we've only met one in the past 500 plus years. Or technically two if we're counting Ost as one. But he's, I think he's a good guy. I think he's a good, I think he's gonna be a good devil. He's gonna be the devil. Uh, and then we see, you know, the introduction of the new character, uh, Dominatio Kira, and the revelation that either the Clover Kingdom is going down or, or Asta might die. Like, I... <sighs> You guys weren't fucking lying. How the fuck do we go forward? How the fuck do we go forward? I, it looks like next week's episode might be the 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 end of this arc, and I believe, I believe you guys are saying that they're going to adapt the light novels to give us some breathing room because we're only like, what, 30, 40 chapters behind the current, you know, where we are in the manga, and the pace is just ridiculous, so I don't know. I'm uh, I'm trying to think in my head where to go from here. Uh, it seems from what Julia says, we have no allies, so it's not like we can go to a different country. Maybe we'll go to Yami, Yami's place? Like that still has yet to be discovered. Um, maybe time manipulation. Maybe we'll venture into that grand magic zone that separates, uh, you know, the Spade Kingdom from us. I'll definitely have to wait and see what his uh, what his agenda is because right now it seems someone's getting fucked. I mean, they almost killed a fucking kid, so they're out for blood. But I gotta say, today's episode was fucking awesome. Fucking loved it. Loved everything about it. Tabata, you are a fucking madman. So with that being said, I honestly cannot wait for future episodes.